Chapter 1. Be open to the teachings of Abraham. Ask and it is given will mean nothing to you and bring nothing to your life unless you open yourself up and believe it. Everything hinges on your belief of what you're reading. It's vital that you read it time and time again, carry it with you, and allow your vibrations to reconnect with the source of the information. To receive the benefits of the law of attraction, you have to believe it. Be open to Abraham's teachings and take everything on board. Who is Abraham? Abraham is a non-physical energy, a collection of non-physical entities who pass their knowledge through Esther Hicks as one voice. When Hicks first experienced a clairaudient experience, Abraham came through to her and explained why she had been chosen to share these teachings. They wanted to write a book and explain the law of attraction to the world. As such, Esther Hicks is the channel, and Jerry Hicks, her husband, supports. Did you know? The definition of clairaudience is the power to hear sounds that exist beyond ordinary capacity or experience. Chapter 2. You Create Your Own Life Experiences It is the desire of Abraham that you are happy and satisfied with your current state. Example, where you are in life. However, not that many people are. In order to begin your journey, you need to focus on feeling good, your well-being and happiness. Turn your attention to the present day rather than living in the past or worrying about the future. You cannot manifest your perfect life unless you learn to live in the present, rather than the past or future. Your power is in this very moment, right now. By learning this, you reconnect with the part of yourself that isn't physical, the part that is subconscious and vibrates your wants and desires to the universe. The truth is that most people have a lot of unfulfilled desires, forcing them to be unhappy with where they are. Then they feel stuck. They can't see a way forward, and they become disillusioned with life. Most people have desires that are unfulfilled, but assuming they won't happen causes you to feel stuck and unable to move in any direction. Chapter 3. You have disconnected from the source of energy. The first step to improving your situation is to reconnect with the source of energy. This is the universe, the power you were born into, and you've forgotten about over time. You must remember that there is nothing you can't be and there's nothing that you can't have. However, you have to believe in what you're learning and you have to forget any preconceived ideas or beliefs that you have picked up throughout your human journey. You are the creator of your own reality, Esther Hicks and Jerry Hicks. You are born knowing that you can have whatever you want, but as you go through life, you forget this and become disillusioned. By connecting with the source energy, you awaken the memory, the knowledge you were born with, and you can start to manifest the life you want. You were born with the knowledge that you can have what you want, but that knowledge has been taken away from you with experiences and what other people tell you. Reconnect to reclaim your power. Many people question why it has taken them so long to get what they want, or why they never do. The reason is because they are holding themselves in a pattern of vibration that doesn't match with the vibration of the things they desire or want in life. Learn to reconnect with the source energy by aligning your vibrations. Become aware of your thoughts and deliberately ensure that they are in alignment with what you want to manifest. Don't confuse things. The vibrations of what you want and what you're trying to manifest need to be in alignment. Be consciously aware of your thoughts. When you are consciously aware and in control of your thoughts, you are offering them in a deliberate way. You are then deliberately creating your new reality. The better you feel, the more in alignment you are with the source energy. The worse you feel, the more disconnected you are. Chapter 4. The Power of the Law of Attraction The law of attraction is the most powerful law in the universe. Everything you think vibrates a signal to the universe and attracts a signal back which matches. So when you want something, you think about it, transmit the vibration, and it is sent back to you. The law of attraction says, that which is like unto itself is drawn. Esther and Jerry Hicks However, the signals have to match. Compare this to when you're trying to tune in your radio to a particular station. If the station's frequency is 102 FM, you're not going to get what you want by tuning your radio frequency to 99.4 FM. The signal has to match, just as the vibrational frequencies of what you want and what you think have to match too. The thoughts you have about what you want have to match the desire. If they don't match, your vibrations won't successfully manifest what you want. The more you think about something you want, the more you believe it is going to be yours the stronger your vibrations to the universe. Then, you are in alignment and what you desire will be yours. Meditation can help you with this, simply focusing on your breath and directing your thoughts accordingly. Did you know, 
The law of attraction states that the subconscious mind is more powerful than the conscious mind. Chapter 5. Three Steps to Manifesting Your Ideal Life To simplify everything down, Abraham teaches us that there are just three steps to manifesting the life you want and the things you desire. First, you ask for what you want. Second, the answer is given to you. Third, you have to accept it into your life. The first and third parts are for you to do. The second is out of your hands. There are three steps to manifesting what you want in life. Ask, wait for the answer, accept it into your life. Every single question is answered by the universe. Every desire is given. However, many people fail to get what they want because they don't perform the third step. They fail to accept what they want into their life fully. This is called the art of allowing. The art of allowing means that your vibrations are in alignment. Your thoughts and desire match. You are allowing into your life the thing you ask for. The art of allowing means that your vibrations are in alignment and you're accepting the thing you want into life wholeheartedly. However, it's vital that you focus on the things you want and not the things you want to replace. For instance, if your car breaks down, don't focus on the old car and talk about all the things that are wrong with it. By doing that, you're forcing your vibrations back onto the old car. Instead, focus on the new car and your vibrations will align. Chapter 6 Practice and allow the vibrations to build. Learning how to manifest everything you desire doesn't come easily to everyone, and you will need to practice. The more you practice, the longer you allow the vibrations to build, the more successful your manifestation will be. Practice and focus on what you want. The more you practice, the stronger your summoning power will be. The main factors which dictate this are the degree to which you desire what you want, how specific you are, and how long you wanted it. If all of these are at a high level, your vibrations are stronger and therefore more likely to manifest your desire faster. If you've wanted something for a while, your manifesting power is far stronger than if you've just decided what you want. The power to manifest something you desire will be far stronger if you have wanted it for a long time. Chapter 7 Your Emotional Set Points Dictate How Successful Your Manifestation Is your emotional set point is where you are at emotionally right now. Are you feeling happy, sad, joyful, angry, depressed? Feeling good gives you a far greater chance of raising your vibrations and manifesting what you desire. Your emotional set point is how you're feeling right now. You can change this and it will fluctuate naturally over time. Of course, emotions change regularly so your emotional set point will change with them. However, you can affect this by being mindful of your thoughts. It's very easy to allow thoughts to simply wander to whatever is happening around you. But if you want to manifest your desires, you have to ensure that you're focusing your thoughts deliberately on what you want. By doing this, you're aligning your vibrations, you're reconnecting with the source energy, and you're resetting your emotional set point. Focus your thoughts to control your emotions. Feeling good gives you a better chance of manifesting what you want. You have power over your emotions. You might think that you don't, but that's because you allow your thoughts to drift and wander. Use the power of conscious thought to control your emotions. Then, when you expect something to come your way, you'll find that it arrives. For instance, if you're feeling low, direct your mind towards positives, raising your emotional set point and your vibrations. Emotions may be powerful, but they can be controlled. Chapter 8. Do your thoughts need to change? Many people believe that they will have to go out there and work hard to get what they want. This isn't the case. It isn't up to you to make something happen. It's up to you to ask for it and the universe will grant it. It's not your job to make something happen. Universal forces are in place for all of that. Your work is to simply determine what you want. Esther and Jerry Hicks If things haven't been going your way, your thoughts need to alter. Nothing will change unless you actually make a change. Doing everything the same way doesn't bring new results. There's no situation in life which can't be changed by thinking about it in a different way. You become the things you think about. If you're thinking negatively, the law of attraction deems that you will attract negativity into your life. If you're thinking positively, and hopefully, you will attract positive things into your life. Consider the situations in your life and whether you can choose to think about them in a different way to receive different results. Chapter 9. You can encourage manifestation with a few strategies. When you start trying to manifest your desires into your life, you may find that you struggle. That is all down to the fact that your thoughts are stuck in an old pattern and you need to approach them differently. However, it could also be because you need to raise your emotional set point. 
Through Hicks, Abraham shares several strategies that can be used for various situations, helping to bring better results from manifestation attempts. These strategies help to remove resistance from your path and align your vibrations. Be sure to remove resistance from your path to help your manifestation attempts. The prosperity game is one suggestion made by Abraham. This can be used when you want to be more specific or clear about the things you desire before manifesting them. To do this, imagine a checking account and deposit $1,000 into it. Then, spend that $1,000, imagining what you would buy and how good it feels. The next day, deposit $2,000 and spend it again. Continue doing this over a period of time. The point of the prosperity game is that you're improving your imagination, helping you to be more specific on what you want. Then, the universe will respond accordingly. Another strategy suggested by Abraham is evaluating dreams. Sometimes we dream about the thing we're trying to manifest, and that is because your dreams match your thoughts during your waking hours. That means you're already giving your desire a lot of thought and you're making progress. By evaluating your dreams, you can work out whether what you're trying to manifest is what you truly desire or not. Evaluating your dreams helps you to work out whether you're manifesting something you really want or not. Our dreams reflect the thoughts we have during waking hours. Before you sleep, relax and tell yourself that you're going to rest well and be refreshed when you wake up, that you will recall anything important when you wake up. When you do wake up, spend a few quiet moments thinking about your dreams. This is the best time to evaluate your dream because you're more likely to remember small If you details. have a good feeling about it, you know you're manifesting something you really want. If you feel bad or awkward about it, you know that you perhaps need to change towards something more useful or desirable to you. Analyzing your dreams when you wake is the ideal time. This is when you remember small details. Conclusion The law of attraction is extremely powerful and can bring you everything you desire. However, you have to believe in it and you do that by matching your thoughts with your desire. When your vibrations align, when you focus and expect positive results, you will welcome good things into your life quickly. Using Esther Hicks as a channel, Abraham teaches us that our minds have forgotten that we can have anything we want. We have become so disillusioned and stuck within our own lives that we have lost sight of our own power. Rather than allowing negativity to take over your days, and rather than being stuck in a rut, learn how to manifest everything you've ever dreamed of, using the law of attraction as it is meant to be used. Try this. Number one, think carefully about your life right now. Are you satisfied? What desires do you have which would have not yet been fulfilled? Number two, try meditating for 15 minutes per day. Sit down when you're not going to be disturbed. Make yourself comfortable. Close your eyes and focus on your breath. If a thought enters your mind, simply acknowledge it and let it float away. Number three, make sure that you really believe in the power of the law of attraction. Meditate on it, focus on it, and allow your positivity about the law to grow.